You know, fooling fish is an art in itself, but tricking them into hitting something that's artificial, something that's an imposter, is really kind of special. This alone is a major part of what we call bass fishing. You know, to be successful at this sport, it involves a process of elimination. This requires a systematic approach based on trial and error until you uncover what will produce at the moment. And let me tell you, if a bait is worth tying on, it should be given a fair chance to produce. Having doubt as you pull the knot tight or even thinking of another lure you should be using before the one you just tied on gets wet or changing the lure only after a cast or two, <laughs> well, that's a sign of desperation and a lack of confidence, not only in the lure, but in your approach as well. Before you switch, give it a fair shot. Try everything you can think of to do with that first lure. Think about the lure, how it works, about your presentation, where you're fishing it. Use it until you're really convinced it's not gonna produce right now. Fishing lures come in all shapes and sizes and using them involves countless variables. Experience is a tremendous teacher only if you mentally record your wins and defeats. In the meantime, there's seven key essentials that every angler should commit to memory. They are approach, depth, presentation, experiment, concentration, learning, and confidence. And we're gonna be discussing each of these as we fish along today. If you practice them every time you're on the water and practice them with a lot of motivation and desire, I guarantee that you'll master the artificial lure game quicker than a minnow can jump a dipper. Coming up. Woo! Yes, sir. Uh, ain't putting on a head of steam. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Be pretty thing. Whoa. Hold him, little hook. Hold him, little hook. He got it in there too, didn't he? There we go. <laughs> you liked that thing, didn't you? See ya. Boy, that was a nice fish. Great way to get things started. Hey, let me tell you what a fella told me recently on the subject of lures. He told me that most fishing lures were made to catch fishermen, not fish. Surprisingly, some fishermen actually believe that 70% of the lures on the market today are made to catch the angler, more so than the fish. Well, let me tell you, that's hogwash. What these folks are overlooking is the time, the effort, and the money it takes to design a fish bait, to test it, then set up the tooling, which isn't cheap. Then comes the manufacturing and marketing of the product in hopes that it'll be accepted by fishermen and will sell well. These costs are staggering, and you can bet that before a lure designer gets past the prototype stage, he's already convinced himself and others that his creation will catch fish. Here we go. Coming up. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Look at it, coming on around the boat, coming on around the boat. <laughs> Come out, <here>, you. <laughs> Come here, you little dolly. Come in here, you little. Oh, can't even reach over. Side of this boat and get you. Woo! Boy, let me tell you, <laughs> and I'm not telling you something that you don't know. There are so many variables in catching bass on a regular basis. But I'm going to continue talking about my seven favorite numbers in my next tip, which I sure hope you'll join me for. Until then, catch a lot of fish, keep what you can use, and release the rest. We'll see you next time.